you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Him. It has been a while since I've done a favorites video, and it's simply because I haven't really been trying a lot of new gadgets lately. Um, normally, I see something that looks interesting, new, or different, and I just grab it and you know, see how it works, but I haven't been seeing a lot. So I want to ask you guys, have you seen any new notions or any new sewing things out there that I should try that might uh, make it into one of my favorites video? If so, let me know in the comments below um, something new and different that you have stumbled upon and I'll check it out. Um, but I do have a video this month. Um, I've gathered up three things um, and you probably... Two of them you've definitely heard me mention before, proof that I'm actually like using these things and trying them and whatnot. Um, the first one was kind of hidden in a video that I did for Cricut. It was um, uh, the DIY dog shirt video. In there, I demonstrated how to use the Cricut Easy Press. Um, and I just wanted to show you a little bit more about it and talk to you a little bit more about why I love it. This is the hot plate. This is like the ironing part. Um, it's huge. I want to say it's nine by nine, somewhere around there. Um, this whole thing heats up nice and evenly. You can set it to specific temperatures depending on which, um, what kind of fabric you're using. Like, you know, their irons, how you can really only turn the dial to like the silk setting, the cotton setting, but there's we really have no idea what you're setting it to like that's just an arbitrary like some manufacturer decided what that would be for you um for this one you can set it exactly to what it needs to be which is very important to me when it comes to interfacing so that's what i've been using this mostly for i don't do a lot of iron on decal stuff i mean i'll do a little bit for sunny or my friend has a couple kids and so i'll do some stuff for her but other than that, I'm not doing a ton, but this thing is perfect for adhering your um, interfacing to whatever you need, whether it's a button placket or a facing or a bow or a cuff or I don't know, whatever it is, because you can set the heat for um, keeping in mind the fabric and keeping in mind, the, in mind the type of interfacing that you're using too. A lot of times on the interfacing instructions, they'll have like a specific temperature to try and set it to. And you can do that with this. Um, so it's just been, it makes interfacing a breeze. I mean, you just set the temperature you set a little timer to like whatever the instructions say, and you just set it on top. And for a lot of the facings that I've been doing this humongous plate covers the whole piece of interfacing so it's none of that like leave it on there for however many seconds and then move it and then you're like making sure you you didn't miss a piece or miss a spot or anything like that this eliminates all that drama so i am loving the cricut easy press so much um so i thought i would mention it in my favorites because it really is become is one of those things that i wasn't sure as a garment so is how much i was really going to use it but i have used it a lot with anything that i've had to interface the suckers come out so um check out the easy press um where can i put this <laughs> it's not very light which is good because you don't have to like press down very hard you know it has a lot of weight in it already um, the next thing is another video that I did um, for perfect sleeve plackets. This thing, you guys, doesn't look like much. Actually, you can't even see it at all. Can you even see that? Um, I should have had some white paper or something. Can I use one of these? That's not much better. Well, a little bit better. Um, this is the sleeve placket template from Luna Graphics Co. If you haven't seen that video on how this thing works, I'm going to link it up here so you can click on this little eye with a circle around it and um, it'll take you to that video so you can watch if you've ever done a sleeve placket then you know how kind of tedious they can be with all the different marking points you have to do and the folding and the others and then there's also like i mentioned in that video comp patterns that just like skip that they're like no let's just throw some bias tape around a little opening and call it a day well no like i really want nice sleeve plackets and this is going to give you those every single time 
really, really easily. Um, like that video that I did, it was one of the first times that I had ever used the template and it was so simple that like one of my first times out of the gate using it, it came together really well. So um, check this out. She has a coupon code still available, uh, Lindsay20, L-I-N-D-S-E-Y 20 for 20% off. And from what I hear, it's working on your entire purchase. So I know I have mentioned some of her other things as favorites before. The curve runners are awesome. I have her like curve ruler things. I don't know all the technical terms. I'll leave um, a link in the description box to her store so you can go check them out. But honestly, I've loved everything that she has come out with. And I can't wait to see what's next. I've been trying to plant little seeds for like a half hidden button placket wouldn't that be awesome to like not have to like be so I don't know that that can be just as confusing and and tedious as the sleeve placket so if she could do a template for that then she could definitely do a template for a half button up right um I hope so so we'll see what she what she ends up with but she's super super nice she's a great small business on Etsy um, so head over there and support her if you're looking for any of these like fun acrylic tools. The Curve Runners though, seriously guys, are awesome. Okay, my last favorite for the month is actually just a little kitschy novelty item I saw at the little checkout counter at Joanne. You might have gotten these too. Mine was completely picked over. I want to say it was 60% off or something like that by the time that I had gone to them. Um, but I normally just breeze right through that stuff. But something made me stop that day. Maybe there was like a long line or something. And they had all these really cute, like old simplicity, vintage 1950s, like kitschy decor items. So I grabbed the coffee cup because it was just too cute. I haven't actually consumed any beverages out of it. Um, it's just in here for decoration because I just thought the girls were really, really sweet. So you'd have to go to your Joanne and see what they have left. The last time I was there, like at the end of May, they had like a key, you know, a bookmark. They had these little cube desk organizers that were like made out of cardboard. Um, what else? Oh, what were those? I don't even know what those things were. But at one point they also had like clipboards and, um, gosh, I can't even remember. Boxes, like empty decor boxes that you could obviously put stuff in. Um, I don't know. They had a bunch of different items all in this little Simplicity Vintage line. But it is in like, you know where the magazines are? It's like on the other side of that or somewhere in that area, depending on how yours is set up, like near the candy and all that. Um, but yeah, they're just super cute. I love them. Um, so I just got the one. I'm not much of a coffee mug collector. Like I think I have a set of four that came with my um, dishware and like that's it. I don't have any that have like fun sayings. It's just not my cup of tea. Um, but this one was too cute. So I had to get it and I feel like it was not expensive. So yeah, super sweet. So those are my favorites, quick and easy video um, for my favorites this month. But in all honesty, you guys, let me know if you've, if you've seen something that I've just missed somehow that I need to try and I will absolutely try it. Um, but until next time, that's gonna do it for me today and I will see you very soon. Bye.